Hello and welcome to programming. This is video number 25. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with JavaFX on Ubuntu. A couple of things you need in order to get started with the Ubuntu is that you're going to have to install JDK, the JavaFX SDK, and if you want you can try the sample code from JavaFX for me I'll just show you the JDK and the JavaFX the installation for it so first grab the JDK you go to Oracle website and then on the download tab you click on JavaFX JavaFX. Click on the um, JDK7. Now click on the JDK download. Accept the license agreement and then download the 32 bit. It's that file right there with the gunship format. Download it somewhere and keep them in one directory now once we have the JDK we're gonna go back to grab the JavaFX one more time you see that in the official release for JavaFX there's no um, JavaFX SDK for any other operating system beside Windows for Linux and Mac, we're going to have to go to JavaFX, the um, preview version of JavaFX 2.1. Click that and accept the license agreement. Now click on that. And the JavaFX SDK version, the only version we have, is 32 bit. So click on that. If you want a sample code for JavaFX, click on that link. But clicking on these two links means that you will need to log in and register register as a Oracle programmer. So I assume that you register and you have the account to download or the zip file. once you have all those three files inside your download folder suppose you have downloaded in directory called FX download you're gonna need to extract all this Now it's time to download and install your IDE. Of course, I assume that you have downloaded and installed your IDE. The IDE I will sh show you how to configure with JavaFX is R two IDEs. The first one is NetBeans. The second one is IntelliJ IDEA. So, if you haven't got that installed yet, you might need to check take a look at the. Uh, how to install NetBeans and how to get started with IntelliJ video on my channel. Uh, okay, so once we have NetBeans installed, this is how we configure JavaFX to work with NetBeans. As you can see, I have a Java Effect project right here, which uh, currently doesn't work right now. But if we done configuring, it will be, it, uh, we will be able to run it. So in order to be able to run it, we are gonna have to configure the Java platform. We'll add another platform to it, which we'll select from
sorry, which will which will select from effect download and that's the one. It should automatically give uh, us the correct version. Click on finish. Now as opposed to the default one which only have three tabs, the new one's gonna have four tabs. The last one's gonna be for Java effects. So click on enable that and select the again from effect download. Select the SDK. Click OK. It should automatically fill uh, the rest of them in for you, except for the source. Of course, it's not. It has has not been released yet. Now, uh, this should be fine for NetBean or okay. This should be okay for logo. So if you start a new project with effect application, it should automatically create that for you. This is what I have. Hello world. If you go to Hello World, we should be able to run it. And it will say hello in the console. Now, uh, let's see what we need to do in order to get it integrated inside IntelliJ IDEA. For IntelliJ IDEA, the simplest thing we can have is we can since it doesn't have any platform configuration and add JavaFX platform to it, we're gonna have to integrate the runtime and I put the runtime inside the JDK. So this is how I did it. I go to the SDK, JavaFX SDK, and then go to the runtime folder. I copy the whole thing from inside lib folder, and then go back to the JDK go to the JRE folder, go to the library, paste all of them in here and merge it now if I go back here I should be able to make this module I don't have the SDK so I just go to project structure and then add a new um, platform, JDK platform to it. The only thing to have and it's it's one point six. So we we'll go to SDK and then add another one. Select the SDK, I'm sorry, um, a little bit slower click on that and then JSDK now let's go to home folder and then effect download and then select the JDK in there we should have JFX runtime.jar and nothing else in there if you want a document part you can add it by go to the SDK and add the API folder to it 
anyway it's good uh, always a good idea to add the API document Java doc to it including the JDK document if you have downloaded and then extract it click on apply and then okay this will take a while because um, IntelliJ idea have to do the indexing we should be fine running hello effects let me try running it for you okay it's it uh, we'll have to wait for it to be done with the indexing now should be okay to run okay it's a simple animation for hello fx <laughs> um, just one more tip to get the movie working I have an application right here to get the movie working, this is um, what you have to do. Or maybe I just uh, can just skip that. Uh, because if you if your platform is 32 bit, you're not going to have any problem running the movie example adding the movie scene to it and then run it the movie that JavaFX support it's mp4 uh, and the file a song file that you can the audio file is mp3 that it support that I try and it runs <laughs> so you won't have any problem with that if you're using 32 bit if you are on 64 bit like me you can have to go through a process which if I have enough request on how to do it on 64 bit I will make a video for it but right now that is it for setting up and running Java FX on Ubuntu and thank you for watching see you on the next video goodbye